Hey everyone, I'm Pastor Michelle and I am excited to share this Reboot Devo with you. In John chapter 6, Jesus does an amazing miracle. He fed 5,000 people with 5 loaves of bread and 2 fish. After the crowd was fed, there were still 12 baskets of food left over. The next day, the crowd went looking for Jesus. They found him and the disciples on the other side of the sea. They asked Jesus, when did you get here? 2020 was a difficult year. It came and left us with plenty of opportunities for us to search for Jesus. It was a year of change in every area of life for many of us. Work looked different, school looked different, church looked different, the holidays looked different, community looked different, friendships and relationships just looked different. With all of that, God never changed. Our need to lean into Him as our source of life, peace, and hope never changed. In fact, what this year did was expose our need to go deeper, more intimate, and more intentional with our relationship with the Father. Now, I don't know about you, but there were moments where I was just plain old worn out. When I'm hungry, I end up working twice as hard, and I end up getting half as much done. I can't think, can't focus. It seems like there's a disconnect between my brain and literally everything else. Things that would normally be easy and simple end up taking twice as long with a hundred issues before it gets done. Often, what I'm working on doesn't even get finished until I've taken the time to eat something. Not only that, but my emotions get all out of whack. What normally wouldn't set me off ends up frustrating me to absolutely no end. Then I realize that all of this is just because I'm hungry and I need to eat. Over the past year, I've developed a new term, spiritually hangry. We are well aware of what it means to be physically hangry, and being spiritually hangry affects us in some of the same ways. When I'm physically hangry, I know exactly what I need to fix it. The sneaky thing about spiritual hangriness is that in my mind and heart, they think that they know what I need. A good cry, some leftover Halloween candy, a nap, a vacation, and none of those things in and of themselves are bad. Except for maybe the candy if you overdo it. However, what my spirit needs is so much more than that. We go through seasons where we reach the end and we are just like the crowd. Jesus, when did you get here? Jesus' response to the crowd wasn't one of like, uh, folks, I've been here the whole time. Though he is. His response to them was, you're not looking for me because you saw the signs, but you're looking for me because you ate the loaves and were filled. That phrase, were filled, literally means they were satisfied. We can't just be a church who sits back and watches as God moves and does things throughout other churches and believers. Listen to me, there's a distinct difference between watching Jesus feed 5,000 people and being one of the 5,000 people that he fed. It's easy to sit and watch the Holy Spirit move in other people. It's a totally different experience when we submit and get to be part of what Holy Spirit is doing. Are you taking part in what God is doing, or are you sitting by and watching as 5,000 people are being fed on the mountainside? You may be sitting there asking the Lord, not just, when did you get here, but you may be asking him, Lord, where the heck are you? My challenge to you is this. There's an action step on your part to go from being empty to filled. What do you need to do to go from observing the miracle to participating in the miracle? You have to choose to be a part of what God is doing. Otherwise, you'll end up sitting by and watching God move in everyone around you. Allow the Holy Spirit to challenge you. Maybe you're waiting for the Lord to show you. Maybe you already know exactly what it is, but it doesn't look like what you wanted it to look like. What action step do you need to take to be filled this year? Let's pray. Lord, would you open our eyes to see the miracle that you are doing in us and through us, Father God. Lord, would you open our eyes to the opportunities around us, Father God. Lord, we trust you, God. We ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, God. Empower us to be the miracle, not just watch a miracle, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We trust you, Father God, and we praise you for all you're doing this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.